there's no better bear hunting on the planet. Big bear country outfitters, they named it that for a reason. Give me love. I'll be honest, I don't want to bear hunt anywhere else ever again. <laughs> the choice is about three things. Real hunting, going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you love. Real adventure, from the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> Welcome this week's The Choice, and this week, well, we're heading back up to Alberta. That's right, we're going bear hunting with Big Bear Outfitter. Scotty and Freddie are going up there. Yeah, and, and Freddie, it's become Freddie's, like, normal routine to go up yeah, there. Yeah, you know, he kind of thinks he's the only one that's go up there or something. Hey, yeah. this week's lucky logo? TC. Thompson Center, Point, baby. Point, aim, shoot, call your taxidermist. Really? Yep. Nice. Anyways, if you see that logo, we'll tell you what to do with it. We've got a bunch of footage and some really great bears. And Scotty's up first, and I want to go hunting, so we need to get going. Overcast. Perfect wind. We need to go. My knee high boots are really my hip waders. We're ready to go. Freddie and I are hunting with uh, Jason Becker and Steve Overgaard with Big Bear Country Outfitters. We were in this stand last night and we're totally covered up with bears the entire night, including uh, two shooters that just wouldn't come in to present an opportunity for us. Uh, I've been a little snake bit in the past with bear hunting and uh, hoping maybe we can change that up tonight and one of those two bears will slip up and come in and uh, give me an opportunity to uh, take him home with me. We're going to sit tight, enjoy the beautiful weather and uh, see what happens. About 20 minutes after getting set up, I caught some movement off in the distance and noticed a nice bear heading our way. As the uh, bear got close to the stand, uh, I realized he wasn't a shooter, but it gave me an opportunity to snap some photos. Uh, after he posed for a few, he headed back towards the bait, stopped, looked over his shoulder, and that's when I noticed bear number two approaching. And Freddie and I had discussed if uh, any bear had no problem reaching that beaver carcass, it would be a shooter. As you can see, this bear had no problem reaching the carcass, and it really did a number on the ridge pole it was hanging from. As the bear started to come back in, I came to full draw and waited for him to give me a shot. Success, night number two, Big Bear Country Outfitters up here in northwestern Alberta. Jason and Steve really got it going on up here. Freddie and I have uh, hunted this stand two nights now. We've been covered up with bears almost the entire time. In fact, we've got a bear behind us right now as we're doing this recovery. Uh, like I said, bears all over, good bears. This bear put on a good show for us. Uh, ridge pole had the beaver hanging. He actually tried to knock himself out when he tore the ridge pole down. Uh, it was interesting. I'm surprised it didn't knock him out. We got a little laugh out of it. He recovered, came back in, gave me a great broadside shot, and the Spitfire did its job. If you could see what I'm looking at right now, it is unbelievable. Spitfires, baby. Big Bear Country Outfitters, it's the place to be. The big guy that we're here after just crossed the clearing out there in front of us about 100 yards. Alberta with Jason Packer and Steve Overgaard of Big Bear Country. 
Country Outfitters. The week's already been awesome. Scott Wolf is behind the camera now. He shot a great bear last night, did a great job. We've been seeing bears all week long, multiple bears, just like it was last year here, multiple bears on the bait we've been sitting. So we came to a new bait set tonight. It's the end of the line bait, they call it. We've only been here 10 minutes, and as you can see over my shoulder over here, we've already got a bear circling the bait, so there's a big one in here. We're gonna sit down and see what happens tonight. It didn't take him too long till he got around behind the bait and started walking in the trail that led right underneath our stand and headed right into the site. We looked up and off of a completely different trail, here comes bear number two for the evening. And of course, bear number two makes his way into the bait and bear number one doesn't care for him very much. And uh, they start going back and forth right there in front of me and Scott as we're watching. We knew that this was the bear we were looking for. If you look close, his back feet are completely bald from his toes to about the top of his ankles. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. And our the owner, Jason, of Big Bear Country Outfitter says that he thinks the reason why that bear's feet are bald like that is because he made a den that was a little bit too small for him to get comfortable in this winter while he was hibernating. Boom, 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 baby. Boom, boom, boom. Brother man, Jason Packer, Steve Overgaard, Big Bear Country Outfitters, baby. That's how we do it, Northwest Alberta, son. Give me love. Let me tell you something, this place is absolutely incredible. This is, uh, the best bear hunting you're gonna find anywhere. I truly believe that after now being up here two years and killing three gigantic black bears. Just another awesome night up here in Northwest Alberta. I gotta say thanks to Ralph and Vic, of course, for the opportunity. Jason Packer and Steve Overgaard up here at North in Northwest Alberta with Big Bear Country Outfitters. And certainly last, not least, my Lord and Savior, for giving me the opportunity at another one of his awesome, awesome, incredible creatures. Just an awesome day up here in Alberta. Couldn't, uh, couldn't ask for a better day. Woo! Wow, Congratulations! Hey, way to go, guys. That's, that's awesome. That's pretty big cool. Big bears always producing. They do. They and do. the big bear hunting, Freddie. Yeah. Now, though, Scotty's back up to bat, oh, and we got to see how he does. That's it. Yeah. Alberta. Here we oh. come. Woo -hoo. Well, another night here at Big Bear Country Outfitters, northwestern Alberta. We are uh, having a great week so far. We've seen so many bears, it's unbelievable. I shot a nice bear a couple nights ago, 6'6", six, six, I believe. Uh, Freddy shot a thumper last night. Uh, based on some suggestions from a hunter back in camp who sat on this bait a couple nights, there's some decent bears they thought I uh, should take a look at. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. Our first bear of the night was a beautiful chocolate bear. 
Our outfitter, Jason, knew this bear was in there and asked that we pass them up, wanted them to grow a little bit more. Just goes to show you that up there at Big Bear Outfitters, they're managing the bear population. I looked down and saw a monster of a black bear walking by the base of Freddy's stand. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Go to facebook.com slash Ralph and Vicky. chocolate bear started to get a little bit froggy and he left the area. Uh, we soon realized why when I looked over and saw another bear coming in. It was a smaller black bear, but he came in and put on a pretty good show. He got a hold of the beaver carcass and actually started doing pull-ups, trying to get a hold of the tail. It wasn't too long after that and the smaller black bear started to act a little skittish as well and he soon ran off. It was about that time I looked down and saw a monster of a black bear walking by the base of Freddy's stand. experience of the Big Bear Country Outfitters was uh, top notch. The people are great, the accommodations are great, the food is great, and the bear hunting is world class. Well, the five of us got them cleaned up, pulled out of the woods for you. This is world class bow hunting at its finest. Big Bear Country Outfitters, Jason Packer, Steve Overgaard. Unbelievable experience. This is a hunt of a lifetime. They're showing us bears. They're calling decent bears. They're great bears anywhere else. I'm not sure what they're going to call this one, but they'll probably let me know a little bit later. This thing is a thumper. I will never in my life, I don't think, ever have an opportunity to shoot anything any bigger. I'm so excited. Freddie and I are having just an unbelievable trip. It's day four, six, 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 ten. And now this guy, boy, what else can you say? The proof is in the pudding. They have named this place right, Big Bear Country Outfitters. We've got two more days, one more tag. Freddie's up, and he's got an itchy trigger finger. And I'm just waiting for him to stretch his vitals out so I can bring my Hoyt back to full draw. It's about 5 o'clock. We got about 6 hours till dark. We've already had a great week. 
I've killed a great bear. Scotty has killed two great bears. It's all gravy from here. If I get to fill another tag tonight, great. If not, I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the show. This is where I killed my second bear last year up here with Big Bear Country Outfitters. So we went back to the bridge bait, got into the tree stand, settled in for the night, and it wasn't long till the action started. This bear climbs a ridge pole and walks out on it to get to the beaver carcass. And I'm just waiting for him to stretch his vitals out so I can bring my Hoyt back to full draw. And that's how we do it in Northwest Alberta with Big Bear Country Outfitters, son. Boom. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. There, there's nothing else to be said except Big Bear Country Outfitters, Northwest Alberta. That's it, the proof is in the pudding. Two years in a row, I've been blessed to kill three big bears. Scott killed an absolute monster the other night. Big Bear Country Outfitters, that's all I can say about that. I'm telling you right now that if you're into bear hunting and you're into hunting big bears, Big Bear Country Outfitters is named that for a reason. We came in here and set up. We were sitting about a half hour and looked over and here this bear come. Climbed up on the ridge pole to get to the beaver and gave me a 10 yard chip shot and the old Hoyt Maxis with the, the demons and the blood runners just did him in. As you saw, he climbed a tree and then let loose and it was all over. The track job was real, real short. <laughs> but uh, like I said, man, I mean, this place is incredible. Incredible is probably an understatement when it comes to Big Bear Country Outfitters, but uh, I gotta say thanks to Ralph and Vicky for the opportunity, of course. Jason Packer and Steve Overgaard for uh, inviting me up again this year. And of course, the good Lord above. Without him, none of this would be possible. I don't want that. Hey, you really look Congratulations, good. Congratulations, Freddie. Way better. Freddie, Scott, way to go, guys. Big Bear. I'm telling you, Alberta, they got him covered up. They do. Hey, if you happen to see the lucky logo, which Thompson was? Thompson Center. That's right. Point, aim, shoot. Call your taxidermist. I don't think that's correct. But anyways, if you did, log on to thechoicetv.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some, <laughs> something great from TC. Thanks. So I think and a lot of other good things. That's right. Yeah. Okay, next week? Next week, it is SWD extravaganza. Severe white tail disorders extravaganza, just like we're getting ready to do right now. That's right. Okay. You need a little more black. I'll get more black on there. I Look just... at your neck. I just started putting it on, my your gosh. Your eyes are too bright. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll make you see you next week. Yeah, next week. You sure? Yeah, I oh. am. Aww.